Welcome to Core Workout 2. Today's focus is all about the internal and external obliques. So we are gonna blast those sides of your body. Today you're gonna need your mat and you're either gonna need your glider disc, we'll need two of them, or two small towels, so one or the other. I would also recommend doing this workout on a hardwood floor. If you don't have access to a hardwood floor, carpet will work just fine, but then you probably won't need your glider discs or your towels. Today's workout is gonna look like this. We're gonna have a sequence of exercises. Each movement that we do today is gonna be 30 seconds. I will call out the work period. I'll call out the rest period. We're only gonna be doing every single exercise today one time. So I'm not going to explain the movements. We're just gonna get right on into it. So go ahead and make your way into your tabletop position, hands and knees. Finding all fours here, starting with your transverse abdominal breathing. Take a big breath in, let the belly relax, hang heavy. As you exhale, drawing your abs in and up, contracting your core muscles without rounding or arching your back. Inhale. And exhale, pull those ab muscles in and up. Three more. And exhale. Now moving into hovering tabletop, we'll be here for 30 seconds. Curl your toes under. You're gonna float those knees up off your mat. Hold them about two inches. Now begin those five deep transverse abdominal breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Again, really pushing all of the exhale out as you draw and contract the ab muscles in and up without, again, rounding or arching your back, holding that nice neutral spine. Last one. And release down. 15 seconds of rest here, and we are gonna be going into 30 seconds of hovering tabletop ab squeezes to the side. Take that big breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna lift off, find that hovering tabletop position, and now squeeze your right armpit and your right hip together. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, squeeze left armpit and left hip together. Inhale, keep your knees and your pelvis nice and still. Inhale, and exhale, give me that squeeze. Finding those obliques right away here. This is just our warm up and we're already starting to feel that deep connection into the side of the body. Let's go one more each side. That will take us to that 30 seconds. Inhale, back to center and exhale. Gently set your knees down. We're gonna move on. We have 30 seconds of rest here. Everything that we're doing today is building off of the exercise prior. So here you're gonna need your towel or your glider disc. We're gonna come to the edge of the mat. Those discs or towels are about hip width distance apart. So we can curl our toes onto those discs. Again, returning into your tabletop position here. Finding that deep connection into your core. Give me a big breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna slide your right leg out and up, trying to touch that disc or your toe up towards the right side edge of your mat. Changing left leg goes long behind you and up and out to the side, really focusing on bringing your hip up towards your armpit and squeezing and contracting into that oblique. Doing your best not to sway your body from side to side. Really feel the core doing that work as you squeeze in and up. We're almost there, just 10 more seconds. Finish out this last one on the left side. And now we're gonna go right into our progression here. Hovering the knees up right where we were. Now adding that side leg squeeze for 30 seconds in hovering tabletop. Now you've got the option to stay on your knees. 
we can work up to this exercise over time as we get stronger. You can always lift, do a couple, do as many as you can in hovering and then lower those knees back down. We've got 10 seconds, wherever you're at, work that breath, exhale, inhale and lower down, finding your rest. Here for 30 seconds, we're moving into a side plank series. So what I'm gonna have you do is come back towards the middle of your mat. The best way to set up is lining up your heels, hips, and your bottom elbow on your mat. We're gonna start with a modified side plank position here. We're gonna do hip lifts for 30 seconds, and then we'll progress from there. Let's bring your top hand behind your head, letting that armpit open up and the elbow stay lifted towards the ceiling. We'll begin here lifting the bottom hip up and gently lowering down. When you're lowering down, it's not a rest. We just want a little light tap there. You're feeling your top hip lift towards the ceiling with the strength of that bottom oblique. Exhale as you're lifting. Inhale as you're tapping down. Five seconds and we're gonna progress towards lengthening that top leg out. Stretch nice and long, keep the top foot connected to the mat and continue with those lifts here. Now you might notice that your range of motion has increased a little bit because the weight of that top leg is not pressing you down. Keep lifting here, find that strength in your underbody. God, turn your body into an imaginary rainbow. Send that top hip up. In five seconds, we're gonna progress now towards hovering the top leg through the whole movement. Take that top leg up and keep working on your lifts here. Good. Remember, it's just a little light tap down. Good, beautiful work you guys. Keep those hips moving up and down. We have got 10 seconds and we're gonna hold it on the up and add some elbow to knee squeezes and rotations in five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the lift, elbow to knee, squeeze in with that top oblique, Open and lengthen, and then exhale, crunch into a twist. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Don't let that bottom hip drop. You've got this, we're here for 10 seconds. Exhale into that crunch. Open on the inhale, exhale, squeeze. Last one here, finish out that crunch. Inhale, open, exhale, legs together, and lower down. Great job. We've got 30 seconds to rest. Go ahead and just transition to the other side. Remember your setup here, you're lining up, heels, hips, and your bottom elbow with the back edge of the mat. Finding this nice, relaxed sideline position here, starting with your legs stacked, and your top hand is gonna go behind your head here. We're gonna begin in five seconds with that modified side plank lift. We're focusing on those bottom obliques. Here we go, let's lift up and down. Lifting up and down. Beautiful, it's not the biggest lift here. Remember, everything we're doing is building into the sequence. So we're preparing to hover that top leg here in 15 seconds. It's just a light tap down, you've got this. 10 seconds and we're gonna take that top leg nice and long in five, four, three, two, and one. Set your hips down to lengthen your top leg, point your toes, and take it right back up. The top leg does not leave the mat. Elbow staying lifted. That hand is lightly behind your head. Really push down through your bottom elbow so those shoulders are staying out of your ears. In 10 seconds, we're going to lift. I hope you're feeling that burn in your bottom oblique. Woo, five, four, three, two, one, take that top leg up and keep it moving. Lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it, lift and lower. Just that light tap down, take it up. 15 seconds here, keep it moving. You're doing so good. Fire up that bottom oblique. In five seconds, we add that hold with elbow to knee squeeze and crunch in three, two, one, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, open, exhale, twist. 
inhale, open, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, try not to let that bottom hip drop at any time. Really squeeze into that top oblique. 10 seconds, give it all you got. This is our final finish here in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Rest it down, you guys. So, so good. Tarting those external and internal obliques today. Very good work.